finally stepping on the land of the Mars. Holy! Hello, how are you? Finally we meet. Oh. Took me like forever to get here. Well, at least you're here now and we've got some stuff to do. Yeah. So let's get on with it. Yeah, let's do it. Hi, hi. Pressure on Mars is around 500 to 700 pounds. If we don't seal the gate, next time we open it, we'll be shot out of the cabin like a bullet. We solved the problem. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, this is Miss Wow. I'm doing technology and help behind in China. And look where I have ended up with. I've now I've borrowed one of the with my favorite partner, Oli Barrett. Hello, everybody. My name's Oli Barrett from the Barrett YouTube channel here. Check it out. Wow, Oli, look at this place. Look at this. This must be like, like the general control room for the whole place. Yeah, I mean, you can check the big screen here. Uh, this is a multifunction room. You can receive the others from the Earth. Well, you can monitor the like cabin situation and from all of this data. It looks like it, but are we actually on Mars? We are now at Mars base, based in the Gansu province in northwestern part of China. Mm -hmm. and I can count on you. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I, mean, I, hope I, can, me. I hope I can count on you as well because this is where we gotta learn how to survive as if we are really on Mars. Yeah, we gotta carry out some mysterious and exciting missions for a whole day, like how to survive on Mars for a whole day, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's go and see what we get up to. Have you ever watched the film The Martian by Matt Damon? Growing potatoes on Mars. Right, yeah, I mean, literally. That's incredible. That is incredible because obviously in the atmosphere of uh, Mars they don't have oxygen to grow plants. This is the bio lab where we're going to be doing that right now. Okay, so let's get it down. All right. And so. there are several potatoes, but have you ever seen this like that? It looks like they've sprouted because these yeah. are the roots. So we're going to plant the roots basically into the soil yeah, so that yeah. we can grow the potatoes. Yeah, we've got to uh, cut this into pieces, put them into the culture <laughs> medium. So we're going to plant them in here, are we? Yes. Okay. Oh, we use this tool. I wasn't actually aware of that. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We can do a lot of extra work to help them grow. Oh, we're gonna have to. Spring waters on them. Yeah, spread the right names on these, right? To yeah. show the name and date. Get date. yourself a mouthful. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so that is challenge number three. Eat up all the worms. Well, they obviously are very nutritious. And the other thing is they are actually pretty important to, uh, you know, growing food because when they're in the in the mm -hmm. plants amongst the plants they actually eat parts that we won't eat oh. and then by doing that they excrete back into the plants and yes. that is used as fertilizer to help them grow they're not only the food but yeah. also part of the ecosystem exactly. on mars and on the mars space fortunately we have this cutting edge tag and we have multiple choices now and we don't actually have to eat the worms we got those like space food right right, with right. different kinds seafood yeah. dried seafood yeah. okay interesting Okay, Oli, we only got one day, but lots of missions, and you know, there are a lot of places to experience. So yeah. we've got rooms left, right, and absolutely center. So which ones are you going to go to? I think I'm going to choose the left side. What about yeah? you? All right, well, I'm going to go over there. Yeah, we'll right. we carry out separate See missions. See you later. See ya. Bye. I'm going to go to the ecological safeguard cabin, where all the human waste can be dealt with and put into good use. Check out all this high-tech equipment. Now this room is an interesting one. It's basically a storage space room. You know, if you want to take a shower on Earth, you know, you go, you go into your house, you go to the, the bathroom, you get in the shower, you turn the tap on, you use the water. Well, water is not so easy to get on Mars, so you never guess what they do. They literally bath. I don't even know if you can call it bath, but they literally bathe with wet wipes. 
Next up. So speaking of water, basically we have four ways to produce water. So the first one is that it's very simple. We bring waters here from the Earth to Mars. And second way is that we can use the plants, can use the photosynthesis and transpiration to produce water. Third point is that we can actually collect the new trigon water from the Mars. And the fourth way we would like, there is a facility that can deal with the urine. It can remove the chemicals and put it into a fertilizer and you know recycle back to the bio cabin because of the limited resources. Everything in the base, we're gonna put them into great use. Looks like I'm walking in for a science fiction film. Next stop is a fitness room. You know, keep exercising on Earth is very important and normal, but on Mars it's very crucial. So here we are in the kind of resting area, dining area, kitchen area, all in one. You know, you've got to have this kind of area if you are actually on a Mars base. And uh, yeah, there's an area where you can sit out, sit down and read some books. Mars only have one third of gravity comparing to Earth. So it basically takes you no effort. So in a long period of time, your muscle will shrink. So that's why we should keep exercising on Mars. We have the kind of medical area. So we're going to check that out and see how they're going to get treated. So here we are. It's kind of like a, a mini hospital. It's got that vibe. And then in here is the quarantine room. Oh my God, what's happening? I need to find Oli. I need to calm down because we're not actually on Mars. Well, obviously, if you are actually on Mars uh -huh. and there is a red light like this in the whole base station, yes. then obviously something is very wrong to understand ah. what that problem actually is. Yeah. So they need to get suited up and head out. Let's go start it. All right, let's go. Keep running, keep running. We're outside, I'm collecting the soil. I've got my uh, kit ready. I'm um, gonna fill up all these vials that are inside. And uh, I'm gonna take it in for testing, basically. So let's see if we can fill this up. Check out this cool tool. I'm gonna use this to blow off the dust on the solar panel so that it can absorb enough sunlight so that it will provide more energy to the Mars space. Here's another challenge. We're gonna match the diameters of this crater because it's supposed to be one of the tasks to get to know better about the geographic characteristics of the Mars. Now. Nowadays, Mars immigration is like a hot topic. So why Mars? We have underground icebergs, we have water resources, we have the atmosphere, and Mars even got the four seasons just like the Earth. And also Mars has a lot of carbon dioxide that can be transferred into oxygen. So if you want to be a multi-planet civilization, Mars would be a perfect choice apart from Earth in the solar system. My perfect partner, Oli. Hi. I think we made it I think the we whole did. day. I think we did. Now, I think we're now qualified if we actually were on Mars. Mm -hmm. I, I reckon we do all right. I reckon we do okay. Yeah, check uh, where we are right now. Yeah, no, the final destination. Oh, absolutely ready for this. Yes. Bedtime Yeah. Yeah, we can call it a day. Good night, Oli. How good work for the day. Bye. Good night. <laughs>